Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, December 15th, 2016, and we're honored to have with us in the studio, Cheap Girls.
still feel still? And how does it feel to feel like you still feel? Watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Cheap Girls. What's up, guys? Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, for okay. sure. Go ahead and tune up or, like, you know, grab anything you need to set yourselves up. I'm curious. Um, so I moved to Grand Rapids in May on May 1st, actually. Been there a little bit. And one of the first things that I noticed is how much people in Michigan really like Michigan. I'm curious if that's like, if that Michigan pride thing, if you guys resonate with that at all. And if you find that, I don't know, are people in Lansing super stoked about Michigan as well? Oh, uh, person to person? Yeah, (laughs) yeah, right, right, of course. (laughs) It it helps when you uh, go around the country and you're like, yeah, it's pretty, it's actually pretty good here. Yeah, yeah, that's (laughs) true. Very true. (laughs) Other thoughts? Agreed? Or in general? I agree. I love Michigan. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's cool stuff. So you moved to Grand Rapids recently? Yeah, like as oh. of... Yeah, yeah. So okay. like I'm, I'm from other places, so I'm getting used to kind of like what the city's like and what the dynamic is. And I just noticed sure. that pride thing just being like so strong in a lot of, in a lot of different people. It's heavy in Grand Rapids. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. So, oh, so maybe it's yeah. unique there. Why, sure. why is that the case? People just, they like it there a lot? Uh, it's a revived city. Like okay, it's doing, right. Grand Rapids is doing real well. And they've sure. kind of, a, uh, for a while now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. It's like one of a handful in Michigan. That yeah, doing it. sure, sure. Of cities that then like either either used to not be doing well or at the very least now has like found a resurgence. Oh, yeah. yeah, especially in beer and stuff like that, right? Oh, like yeah, beer yeah. and food is what everybody likes. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, thanks for coming out, you guys. And you can go into your next set when you're ready. <laughs> Be
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Cheap Girls. I like that little transition of you saying sweet and then just the next yeah. song called you. To, ah, sweet. All right, let's do it. Um, I read that the title of uh, Famous Graves comes from a hobby of sorts, I guess, that you used to have to kind of visit famous people's graves on the road. Do you still do that, or is that sort of That never a happened. Fib? That was okay. like, that was, I think, something that people thought they'd latch on. Okay, yeah, okay, no, that yeah. was completely unrelated. We've been to, you know, three... <laughs> okay, okay, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where all that came from. I love I love the idea when when I wrote that down, I was like, yeah, I feel like there's there's a good percentage chance that this is not true. And right. so I, I think I think the reason I wanted to ask is because I'm curious how many of those other things have happened to you. Like do you feel like maybe one quote in an interview has blown up into something else? I don't know, that your name's actually Bradley, but that everyone oh. just calls you Ian because it's like some other you know, something like that. Like are there other things in no, your I history? Think there's been like a scandal of any kind like uh, Okay, that. yeah. No, just I mean just shit that's more frustrating than like bad where it's just like oh, it's yeah. not frustrating but just kind of you know i guess kind of funny yeah funny, yeah funny in a yeah, way laughable. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> what are, what are other examples i don't know anything else that's oh, I, I don't know oh, okay I mean, case yeah. by case every day right right <laughs> <laughs> New things every day yeah. that you probably didn't say. Sure. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. I'm curious for, for you then, Ian. Um, uh, you played Fest this year, but you just played? Or like, did you guys play a set or did you just play solo? The band played a set. Okay, cool. Yeah, I did a solo set as well. Okay. Yeah, no, we were there for the band. Okay, yeah. Do you think about those things differently? I mean, do you go into like playing a solo show with a different attitude or I don't know, headspace? Well, I mean, the obvious one. Right, uh, of uh, only having <laughs> yeah, an acoustic practice, guitar. Right. But no, I mean, it's not. Now that I play guitar in the band, it's it's pretty seamless. Okay, um, sure. And, and I think it's probably made those by myself shows a little better. Right. I play guitar, you know, regularly now. Because in the past, um, like, you used to play bass, right? Right. As lead. So right. those shows are great for the band in the way that they, I do have, I'm a little more, there's nowhere to hide at those shows. Like, sure, I sing sure. better, can't, like, you know, there's a, if I mess up here, there's other distractions. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, like, definitely. They make me practice, that's for sure. <laughs> Good. All right, so band members, remember, do solo shows so yeah. that you can, like, nail all your stuff right before you do it. Cool. Okay, roll into your next set when you're ready, guys. Cool.
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Cheap Girls. It sounds really good in here, guys. Uh, Thanks for having us. Again. Of course, of course, man. Absolutely. Um, I have just one question about the um, selected rarities or, or that, that collection that uh, you just released. Um, just what was the impetus behind that? Was it just we kind of have a lot of these extra songs or we wanted people to hear songs that we like or that we haven't released, something like that? Kind of all that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we had talked about it for a long time, like, you know, ever since the beginning of ever having, like, leftover songs that we like. Sure, but didn't fit. make the cut or whatever. Yeah, and, so, yeah. and we actually have more than what's on there. Um, but we wanted to kind of, you know, we sequenced it rather than just rolling, you know, um, chronological order. Sure, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so we wanted to make, like, a record of, like, the stuff we really liked. And... and um I don't remember. We we talked about it for years before we like got. Going. Oh, okay. Before it actually yeah, happened. Yeah, probably it was got like it. two yeah. years in the making. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So other. It's, good. Th- it's nice to be done. Right. Right. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, other thoughts on that, or just agreed with that general sentiment, Ben? Or yeah. Oh, no, that's. Oh yeah. That's that's pretty much it. One of those things. Yeah. <laughs> wanted the the good seven inches to have a little bit more of an audience. You know? Sure. Sure. Some of yeah. that stuff was only released like. You know, 500 copies on a seven inch, and then it's been six years since you've been able to get it anywhere. So yeah. It's like it's, and if it was something we wanted to keep pushing, we or you know, something uh, that didn't need to be dead, or if you will, right? Uh, we, like let's put it on this. Yeah, yeah. Just so. keep keep giving life back into it, or something like that. Right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Beating all the life out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you um, have to... Yeah, I was going to say, though, did you have to, like, <laughs> out of these poor fans, did you have to, like, I don't know, dust any of them off or kind of, like, like reformat them or anything like that? When you're revisiting them, like, oh, man, this is awesome for, you know, three quarters of the song, but so that's what kind of blows. Let's, like, you know, tighten this up or oh, something no, no, like that. Oh, no, no, it's all... <laughs> should have. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea. Actually, in the future, maybe we should. Yeah. Second press. Yeah. But no, yeah, they just you just used them as right. as yeah. was. Just okay. remasters, yeah. basically. Yeah. 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 And then trying to, uh, as far as playing those live, are, are you bringing any of those back into uh, the live fold or practicing yeah, a trying. bunch of those? Some are older than others. You know? Got it. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Um, Do you find it, yourself forgetting ever, like forgetting any of the lyrics? No, not yeah, yeah, but not not like terribly. It's okay, more yeah. just uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what it. I mean, it's the simple fact that we haven't played some of them. Of years. course, we just yeah. Have to brush them up a little better. We've been trying slowly. <laughs> yeah, to to bring them in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's and some of them we haven't played in years, and we stopped playing them because we were just like it's not working. But sure. we play them now in one try, and it's like oh okay, it works now. Yeah, this works. Yeah. Some I guess we never played. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, so these are actually the first time. So yeah, maybe even you've only recorded part of it's them. Having once. a four piece, some of them work with, didn't work with three people. And but now it does with a four. Yeah, I remember seeing. Um, I've seen Motion City soundtrack a bunch of times. R.I.P. But I, uh, I uh, remember seeing them once, and like all the I am the movie tracks, uh, Justin would forget like like a good percentage of the lyrics to those songs and just say like, yeah, you guys just probably know them like, I cause they haven't played them. And just like you're right. saying, you haven't played them in eight years. Right. Like, how are you supposed to know? I go in phases with forgetting. Like, yeah. Right now, knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> like I've been, I've been having a good spell the last year or so. Okay, cool. Phases. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, for fans, you can check that out. And they also have a seven inch, right? Or a, that, that you just released oh, 2016 yeah. well, one? Oh, yeah, well, 7-inch is coming very, very okay. soon. Okay, uh, okay, We cool. just put them up digitally, digitally while 7-inch right. gets pressed, because who the fuck knows when that When that'll be. happen, yeah. right, and of so. course. Okay, cool, and then uh, final show of the year, actually tomorrow in Lansing at The Loft. So check it out if you're in around that area, and go ahead and take it away when you're ready, cool. guys. Cool, cool.
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Cheap Girls. You can check them out in Lansing at the Loft tomorrow. Get the uh, selected rarities release and look forward to the uh, seven inch that's coming out. Also, it is my older little brother's birthday today, so happy birthday, Will. And Jess McCauley, who loves you guys and booked you, is very sick, so she's not here today. But uh, she says, sorry, she can't be here. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys very much for performing for us. Yes. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful and viewers thanks for watching you can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect from all of us here at the audio tree studios thanks for tuning in goodbye thank you hell yeah and we're clear sweet